Yeah. I hope I'm audible. Yes. A very good evening to all. On behalf of Team Test Agriculture, I, Dr. Utkarsha Gavare Kauri, welcomes you all to the sixth day of the seven day free series for ICR ASRB Net Esperance. This program is brought to you by Just Agriculture Education Group. Just Agriculture is India's only agri edutech platform whose motto is to revolutionize the Indian agriculture education system. Just Agriculture is the most credible platform of India, which organizes various events for the agri-professionals, which includes national and international conferences, trainings, expos, symposiums, workshops, and seminars. Also, Just Agriculture magazine is the most rising agriculture magazine with more than 7 lakh readers in India. First issue of the magazine was launched on 5th September 2020. Until now, 30 issues of our magazines are published. As I have mentioned that from time to time, Just Agriculture organized various programs for agriculture students, researchers, and professionals. So in this series, Just Agriculture is now organizing the seven days free series for ICR ASRB net aspirants. We all are well aware about the importance of this exam as the ASRB net qualified candidates are able to apply for lecturer or assistant professor post when vacancies are released by different agricultural universities with the exam just around the corner candidates must be stressed and confused about what else they need to do or what the last minute strategies must be to help them go closer to achieve their goals and for fulfilling the same purpose we are here to help you with this free seven days series where all the confusions would be cleared and you would get get some proven tactics and strategies for the achievers now without wasting much of time i would like to call suwangi Rat for her talk she is uh, specialized in agricultural economics and has secured 60 percent in asrb net suwangi ma'am you can continue Thank you so much, Dr. Utkarsha. It was a really amazing welcome to all the participants. And I'm sure that uh, this series by Just Agriculture would be definitely benefiting all of you. Right. So I will not take much time. Uh, just I would like to tell you some of the tips and tricks that will help you to crack the ICR net and also to secure good percentage. Well, before I go into my PPT, first of all, I would like to tell all the aspirants of agricultural economics that you should first be very, very thorough with the syllabus. You know, everyone probably must have told you this, but, you know, as the time comes nearer to the exam, we are always very much worried and, uh, you know, anxious about which portion to study and which portion not to study. Now, I will tell you that you be very, very particular about your covering of the syllabus, because even though you, uh, you know, cannot revise it again and again, but it's important for you to know all the concepts and all the basics of every part of the syllabus that ASRB has covered. Right. So, uh, ma'am, can I share my screen? Utkarsha, ma'am. Yes, you can share your screen, yeah. ma'am. Okay, thank you. All right. So I'll be sharing my PPT. Is it visible to all? Yes, it's visible. Okay. So first of all, uh, in my talk, I would like to uh, tell you that what are the important points in cracking the net exam? You know, concepts are a must, as I've already told you now that you must be thorough with each and every concept of economics. You know, economics is not just about mugging up and by hearting. You know that you have graphs, you know you have different models, and also there are a lot of mathematical equations involved in agriculture economics, you know, in macroeconomics and econometrics and all. Now, the core uh, idea of covering the courses, you must first cover the basics or the concepts. Then you must be thorough with all the graphs. Because as far as I have come across different questions, you know, of the past years, graphical questions are always the determiners of, you know, the top rankers and scorers. 
Again, you have some direct questions like formula. You might be thinking that there are so many formulae, how to remember whether we will be, uh, you know, able to uh, uh, memorize all the formulae or not. But always remember that ICR always asks you very basic formulae. Okay, I'll be giving you certain examples of the same. Then theories and scientists. These come under the, you know, memorizing part. You must know who are the important economists, who are the scientists who have contributed to different theories, and what are their major contributions. Again, we might not come under agricultural statistics, but it's also important not to forget that economics is not something that is completely different from statistics. We use statistical concepts in most of our econometric analysis or, you know, many of the parts of economics, right? And finally, how we will manage our time efficiently. That is very important. Now, because as I know that uh, you will be having your exams probably in the next one week or 10 days. Now, the most important thing for all of you is how to manage your time efficiently. These are the syllabus that are already prescribed by the ASRB and I will not want to go deep into it right now due to lack of time. But always remember that each of the points that are given here are important and can be a probable question. Coming to some of the examples that I would like to suggest here. First of all, let us understand how we will uh, attempt the direct questions, the memory-based one. These are some of the questions that are already, uh, you know, been coming since a uh, past few years. Like, for example, where the headquarters of major organizations are. When was I find that this question, Nabad, I think probably it's been coming in JRF, SRF, ICR, NET, A ARS. I think all uh, the exams of agriculture economics does have this question that when was Nabad established? Okay, probably you might also get that when was Nafed established, when was APERA established. So the important point here is we must remember three things. One is the major organizations, be it national or be it international. Where are their headquarters? When was it established? And if possible, of course, we should remember the mandates of the mandates or the objectives of those institutions. Now, how do these question setters confuse you people? That's important. You see how I've written the question over here. When was NABAT established? It was 12 July 1982, 12 July 1983, 16 July 1982, 16 July 1983. Or they will just give you the year, 82, 83. Now all of us know that it was in 82. But to confuse you, they are not going to give you that whether it was established in 1980s or 90s or 2000. They will give you the years, uh, you know, consecutively, right? Then coming to the next one, models and names of the scientists. That is important. Direct questions uh, have been coming. I think probably during our time, we had got uh, about the Calder model and we had also got about the Nelovian model. And directly the questions are asked that which model was given by whom, right? And of course, the assumptions. The questions might be so that all the assumptions might come and you might be asked that which of the following is not an assumption of hesher hollin model or any other model, right? So assumptions are very important. I think these parts of the models, I mean, this much is enough for the ICR exam. However, as I told you, you cannot neglect concepts. Coming to the direct formula-based questions. Now, let me assure you that ICR focuses on the basic formula of economics, okay? Like, for example, you might be just asked which of the following is the correct relationship for elasticity, price elasticity, right? MPP by APP, APP by MPP, you know, they will confuse you uh, with very minute modifications. And in fact, during our time, a very basic question had come. And unfortunately, even though I've cracked net, unfortunately, I was uh, unable to answer this question, unable to answer what I had got a negative mark. Okay, so GNP at factor cost is more than GNP at market price or not? Now, all of us know this answer, but probably during the exam, we become so puttered with the questions and we probably expect that the questions will be, uh, you know, something out of the world or probably beyond our capacity to comprehend. And that's why we start thinking very deeply rather than just 
thinking very simply. So, you know, the questions are very simple. And if you just know that factor cost or market cost, which is a market price, which is more or which is less, I think you'll be very uh, comfortable in answering the questions. Then coming to certain books, as we don't have time right now, I will not go into a large number of books. Let me tell you some of the basic books that I had referred during the last minute. Of course, we all know that Subha Reddy is the Bible of agricultural economics, right? So uh, probably previously the book had this kind of a cover and now it has a new cover, but both the books are same. So this is the best book by far, I'll tell you, for all your concepts and for covering the entire course at once. You know, without searching from one book to other, I think first of all, you should concentrate on completing all the concepts from this book, as well as Introduction to Agricultural Social Sciences. Now, there are specialized books because the level will also be from the masters of agriculture economics, right? So there are other books for econometrics, microeconomics, and you know there are n number of books. But right now, our focus should be to complete the entire syllabus, right? And if you cannot complete the entire syllabus by just focusing on one book or other, I think you will be at loss. So the most important thing is you should concentrate on these two books. These are the must. Before going to exam, I think you must revise these two books completely at least twice or thrice. Because some questions come very directly. The formulae come very directly. The graph, you know, like dead weight loss, you know, you have in microeconomics, taxes and all, all these. And even for environmental economics also, you have the social cost, you have private cost, all those things. The graphs come directly from this book. Coming to the objective books, well, I had covered five different objective books. As we all know that there is no particular previous year question for ICR. But Nirmal Ravi Kumar is one book that almost covers every kind of question that is possible in agricultural economics. So the more you revise that book, and of course, Competitive Agriculture Economics, that is also uh, a new Vishal publication, and that's a very good book. If these two books you cover at least once or twice, then I think it will be very, very good for all of you uh, when you go to the examination because almost every question is there in these books. But one thing you must also remember, do not completely rely on the answers given at the back. Because when I was working out, you know, I have not given the name of that book uh, on purpose. I have seen that many books have wrong answers printed in it. That might simply be a printing mistake. But probably since we are in a hurry to complete the course, or probably we are very much tensed, we don't realize and we tend to take those answers as correct. But remember and trust your own concept and trust your own readings, okay? Even if you have doubt in any of the questions given in this book, please go and refer to the original text. That's how your concepts will be uh, stronger and also you'll get the right answer. Do not blindly believe on the answers that are given at the back of the book, you know, in the answer key. Most of the answers are correct, okay? However, there are some answers. You can also see that, uh, you know, mostly many books have misprints, right? However, the questions given in this book is you know, excellent and perfect for your uh, practice and for your exam. So please rely on the questions and not on the answers blindly. Whenever you have doubt, please go and refer to the books. Now, some of the important tricks. Now, we all know that we have to cover the course. We have to, uh, you know, do our uh, revision. We have to do the questions. But now that we don't have much time, how I managed my time, I will give you an insight on that because I remember in 2021, that was the first time I gave ICR net and I was very anxious that, you know, the time is less. How am I going to cover the course? But I'll tell you my strategy for the last 10 days. The strategy is you must make time every day for each kind of activity that you do. That is first is reading or covering the syllabus. It's not that one day I will completely read one book and forget about the questions. Another day I'll only read the questions or practice the questions and completely forget about the concepts. 
I managed my time, you know, in a very balanced way. And that helped me a lot. So I will uh, definitely recommend all of you that you make a timetable, you know, probably in the morning, you can have uh, time for your concepts, you know, revising the concepts or making short notes of the formulae or uh, any kind of important concept. For example, I'll tell you, uh, there is a cobweb theorem in agricultural economics, right? Cobweb theorem is not available in your introduction to social sciences. But then I had to refer it from some other book. And in the um, microeconomics section, somewhere where, you know, I find that I read that page again and again, I had mentioned the basic concepts of Cobweb theorem. Cobweb theorem is definitely there in the ARS syllabus as well. I mean, the ICR net syllabus as well. So it's important that which whichever concept you do not find in these books, just make a note of it either in that book or in some other place where you will read it frequently, right? Note making is important. You can also make a list of the formulae, the related formulae, or, you know, just make a table that uh, this is the headquarter, this is the institution, this is the year, okay? And find out the similarities, the point where you tend to get confused. Those things are important. And again, for example, if in the morning you are reading the concepts or reading the book, take out one hour time, for also doing questions related to that in the same day, okay? Otherwise, probably we will not be able to cover the entire course and also do the questions on that, right? That is very important. And whenever you sit the next day to read something else, first revise the previous chapters. That's important, you know, because that will hardly take another 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Just brush up the concepts and then go to the new one. That way you will be having continuous revision, practice, and also strengthening of your concepts. And never forget to discuss. Of course, I personally prefer self-study, but some people are also comfortable with uh, group discussions. And I also find group discussions very helpful. That's why whenever you find time, pick up some concepts and, you know, just in a very relaxing manner, try to discuss those concepts with your friends or seniors or whomsoever you like. You know, just uh, the major concepts, whatever you have noted down, just kind of, uh, you know, a very rapid fire discussion or something like that, that makes it interesting as well, right? And please keep a target. You know, you can read unit wise. You have around six units in uh, agricultural economics and you can read it unit wise. Keep a target that six units I'll cover within six days. Otherwise, probably you will not have time to revise. That's why if you have time, go for specialized books. Definitely, that's a gain. However, before going for specialized books, I strongly recommend that you should cover the concepts from the two books that I had mentioned previously. And most importantly, on the day of the examination, what I will share with you is my experience that one of my seniors had told me. Remember that the exam is not a battlefield. Okay, you don't have to be pressurized. You don't have to be very, very anxious. You know, there will be a certain amount of anxiety. There will be certain amount of uh, uh, fear. However, try to enjoy the exam. You know, that's what helped me greatly on the day of the examination. Okay, motivate yourself again and again and tell that I'm just going to enjoy each question that I'm going to answer in the exam. And believe me, it is going to work because I was a person who was very much afraid to uh, attempt more number of questions, thinking that probably I'll be getting negative mark. Of course, I don't recommend that you uh, answer all the 150 questions. But definitely, you should have a target to answer at least 120 to 130 or 35 questions in order to score a very good mark, okay? At the same time, do not blindly mark the answers. Only if you are sure about the answer or you have doubt between two options, then attempt the question, okay? Manage your time well in the examination because you have only 120 minutes for 150 questions. So in the first phase, just go on looking at the question and marking the questions that you already are sure about, okay? In that way, you'll save a lot of time. If, for example, in the first reading, you're not getting the answer of a question, it's fine. You can just skip that question for the time being and move on to the next one. In that way, you will 
be able to handle the pressure in the examination. Okay. And as I told, see each question, talk to yourself in the mind, enjoy that examination, you know, as if it's a game and, uh, you know, you will motivate yourself. You'll tell, oh, what an amazing question this is. And, you know, just you'll enjoy the atmosphere that is. Because remember that always keep yourself telling that this is the time I'm going to crack the exam. So obviously you will not get another time to enjoy that part of examination again in future. So keep calm, keep yourself motivated and believe that you can do it. I think that's the most important thing. There will be many people telling you a lot of things especially in agriculture economics you know nothing is fixed you know if they just change one word or something like that then you will probably um, get a completely a different answer you know that is the trick in agriculture economics probably the question will be completely same as the previous year but they will make slight modification in the options or the vice versa and then completely the answer becomes different so you need to keep yourself alert. You already know the concept. So concepts are most important. Strengthen your concepts and just keep calm and you will be able to crack it. I think from my side, this is all. If anyone has any other question, then uh, we can definitely discuss. Uh, it was really a, ve a very wonderful session. So on you, ma'am. Thank you for your for your valuable time. Uh, actually, there are some questions, but uh, you have already covered that portions that uh, what should be done at last moments and all the things, whatever you have told. And as we are running out of time, so I will just quickly shift towards our next speaker. And I'll once again, thank you for giving your valuable time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Moving towards our next speaker, I would like to call uh, Puspa Rani, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, you can just start your session. Hello. Uh, yeah, Puspa Rani is also a uh, specialization of agricultural economics. Now she'll be guiding us for 20 minutes. Over to you, ma'am. Okay, okay. So, shall I share my screen now? Yes, Hello, yes, you can share your screen. Is it visible to you all? Hello, yeah, ma'am, is it visible? Uh, yes, 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 your screen is visible. Yeah, you can just uh, put it on a slideshow mode and you can start, ma'am. A very good evening to all of you. And first of all, uh, I would like to thank you, uh, the team of this agriculture for organizing such a very good, such a good uh, series for the young aspirants. And I will introduce myself that uh, my name is Pushparani. Uh, I'm a PhD scholar in the Department of Agricultural Extension in College of Agriculture, IDKV Raipur. So uh, with this, uh, I would like to uh, share about the various strategies, tips, and very strict for the upcoming ASRB exam, net exam. So first of all, I would like to uh, share about this strategies. What are the strategies to crack the ASRB net exam? So the first thing, the the first and the most important thing is this, uh, this uh, to know the syllabus of the ASRB net exam of uh, in the subject of agricultural extension. So the first thing you need to do is download the syllabus. Uh, syllabus is the main important thing. So you have to download it from the uh, website of ASRB net. So you will get the syllabus uh, of the subject. And uh, after downloading the syllabus, you need to at least go through at least two times. You need to clearly, there is a need for a uh, clear cut, like, like you need to know it very clearly about the syllabus, what are the syllabus, what are the points to be covered for your upcoming exam. So after downloading, uh, you can print it and you can uh, keep this syllabus with you or even you can paste it uh, near your study table to see what, what uh, topic you need to cover. So after this, uh, seeing the syllabus, you need to list down the names of the books related to the uh, 
uh, unit. So you need to list down the book, the name of the book, uh, unit wisely. So, so you uh, you keep all those, you collect all those books uh, related uh, with unit study. And then uh, next next after uh, after listing down, after collecting all these books, you need to read very carefully uh, uh, that textbook to make a clear cut, to make a clear, very clear concept of your um, this unit like you need to have a very clear concept for this for the topic for each and every topic so if if you know a very clear if you have a very clear concept you can solve any kind of uh question so it, it will be very easy for you uh, while solving any kind of questions uh if you know that concept of the topic so while studying uh thoroughly all this uh, like uh, sorry to interrupt you ma'am hello hello yeah sorry to interrupt but your slides are not moving uh, kindly just put it on uh, slideshow mode and you can move your slides then yeah yeah i'm i'm still in this slide second slide this slide yeah but oh, your first slide is only visible okay okay can you see it now uh no Is it visible now? The second slide. Mm, no, on your first slide is only visible. Kindly shift it to the PowerPoint presentation mode. Yeah, it's in PowerPoint presentation mode only. Mm. If I do like this. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. Now it is second slide. Like uh, you are on the strategies. Okay. This, you. I think you'll okay. have to do manually because uh, slideshow mode is not working. I think in your phone. Okay. okay. So you can do um, manually now. Start. So after uh, you have a clear cut, uh, clear concept of that. It, you need to prepare no time necessity. So while studying, you need to prepare your may uh, like your own notes. You need to make a clear note uh, in your own words. In your like in such a way that you can uh, refer it at the time of revision. Also, you can uh, by like uh, in such a way that you can understand the concept while seeing your own note. Also. So in such a, in such a manner, you have to prepare your note while studying while reading this uh, unit. So after that, you after it uh, after completing each and every unit, you need to uh, practice the multiple choice questions just like multiple choice question objective type question book there. So you need to uh, practice that kind of uh, questions as much as possible after completion of each and every unit by unit wisely. So and the last thing is like um, you need to re revise. You need a very good revision you have to do revision for your uh, exam <clears throat> uh, when the time is very limited and so let's go let's go through this some important books according to the unit wise right? so i will tell like for the first unit fundamentals of extension and communication for this unit uh, you need to Study these two books, that is Extension Communication and Management by the L. Ray and Dimension of Agricultural Extension by A. K. Singh, Lakhan Singh, and R. Roy Berman. These two books are the most important. These two are the these two books are the most basic books for all the agriculture students. I hope all the agriculture students have these two books. And for uh, unit one, you need to study this book very thoroughly. <clears throat> and for the second unit, that is Extension Method and Farm Journalism. You need to study, like uh, for uh, extension method, you need to study the textbook on agricultural communication process and method by A.S. Sandhu. And uh, for farm journalism, the book on this uh, journalism, farm journalism and communication skills by G.L. Ray and Sagar Monda. And for the third unit, that is information communication and technology. For this unit, uh, you only going through only the book is not necessary. like it, it is not enough so you need to go through uh, 
to various uh, websites. Like you can go through website of manage uh, ICR website. You can go through even the agriculture uh, Ministry of Agriculture website also. So uh, uh, like as well as I would like to recommend one book for this unit that is ICTs for Agricultural Extension by R. Saravanan. So uh, you need to consult both uh, this book and some other uh, online information as well. And for the next unit, and for the next unit, uh, like the uh, unit four, that is training and human resource development. Training and human resource development, it is a uh, vast unit. So you need to study very well uh, to know this concept about this uh, unit. You need to study this book that is uh, Extension Education for Human Resource Development by Virendra Kumar B.S. Hansra. So this book is necessary for uh, to get a clear concept for this unit. And <clears throat> for uh, the next unit, that is unit number five, which is the most important, the, most, uh, the very most important important unit for this exam that is research methodology and extension education so there are uh, a lot of questions used to come from this unit so uh, for this you need you need to study you need to refer to this book that is research methods in social science and extension education by dl ray and sagar mondal a lot of questions used to come from this unit and uh, the next unit is unit number six, that is program planning, evaluation, and, and diffusion, and uh, adoption of innovation. So for program planning, evaluation part, you need to refer to extension program planning by A.S. Sandhu. And for uh, diffusion and adoption of innovation, this is the only book for diffusion, like this is the main book for uh, diffusion and adoption of innovation, innovation by um, E.M. Roser. So from this book, you can get it and every topic it's in every part of this uh, regarding this diffusion and adoption of innovation. So in from unit number seven, that is extension management. For extension management, you can uh, uh, refer to this book that is management by Kunz. And the next unit that is unit number eight, that is entrepreneurial development. For uh, entrepreneurial development, uh, you need to refer to the book of textbook on rural development, entrepreneurship, and communication skill by Sagar Mondal DL Ray. And for unit number nine, developmental strategies and issues in extension. For this, you need to uh, refer to new trends in extension education by Virendra Kumar. <clears throat> and the last unit that is gender sensitization and empowerment. So regarding this book, there is no such uh, specific book. Uh, regarding this unit, there is no such uh, specific book, so you need to consult the various uh, website. Like you can go through online and you can collect notes from that and you can prepare for your own. So these are the uh, so, uh, so th this book you can consult, you can refer when you have enough time for uh, preparation for this exam. But when you get um, very less, uh, like very limited time for exam, like only. Uh, 15 to 10 days is left then i would like to uh, like uh, i would like you to give more focus on this topic that is advances in agricultural extension in this agricultural extension like uh, various reforms and, and some other like projects programs uh, questions from these things it used to come and you you need to focus on this uh, reforms and programs also and the second most uh, important topic it is agricultural communication <laughs> From this, uh, from this agricultural communication, you need to know what is communication, what are the level of communication, method of uh, communication, models of communication. We need to study very well regarding agricultural communication. And the next topic is uh, extension program planning. Uh, and the next one is diffusion and adoption. The next important topic is training and development, management in extension. Such kind of topics, you can get it from the very basic book that I have mentioned already, that is Extension Communication and Management by uh, D.L. Ray and Dimension of Agricultural Extension by Akela Kanting. So from those two books, you can uh, go through and you can at least get some concept from those two books when you get a very limited time. And 
for uh, the next topic is the most important and very important topic i have mentioned earlier also that is research methodology in extension education so you need to study very well uh, regarding this topic from the um, uh, and sagar model book so and the next topic is information communication and technology uh, from this information and communication technology like uh, different projects uh, in and this feature of this uh, ICTs uh, in extension from such kind of uh, topic uh, question used to come. So um, you need to see through, uh, like you need to update your knowledge for the last two this topic, current affairs and agriculture also. So for this two topic, you need to go through some online mode. You can get it from some website, like uh, manage website, ICL website, uh, such things you need to go through and you need to uh, update every day for, for regarding this current affairs in agriculture as well so when very limited time is there uh, i have told earlier also that uh, you need to solve uh, multiple choice questions as much as possible so i would like to recommend two books that is uh, multiple choice questions in agricultural extension by senior vg and question bank in extension education so these two books uh, you you at least have to solve this uh, two books uh, as, as much as possible and <clears throat> the last thing is that uh, when you have very limited time you can uh, go through this book that is a brief book on extension education by Shruti and Madan Singh so this is the um, this this book will help uh, help you a lot at last hour so last hour means when you have at least uh, two to three days uh, for example so uh, you can go through this book as a, as a revision, as a process, uh, like for revision purpose only. So from this book, you go, you won't get a clear concept, but um, you will know what what are the important points. So this uh, book, it is in uh, in the form of points, like uh, topics. All the to topics are explained in point wise. So this is a, m a main important books for uh, clearing, uh, like taking this exam. So uh, with this, I would like to wish uh, all the aspirants uh, all the best for your upcoming ASRB net exam. Thank you. So. Thank you, Pusparani. It was a, a short and very informative session. Uh, there are some questions from the participants. Uh, I'll just uh, take a few of them. Okay. As uh, the time is less now and extension is it um, more than a conceptual, it's a theoretical subject, right? Yes, so yes. what would you suggest that how to cover the syllabus or uh, how to do the revision of this subject? Like as uh, I have told earlier that while uh, while studying while studying the book while studying the books you need to make a uh, note for your own uh, purpose. So at the at the time of revision you can go through to your notes and at least you can complete from that. Uh, at least you will get the clear answer from your notes as well also if you prepare it very well. So uh, like this you can. And for covering the syllabus, you need to have a like very enough time for that because it's a very vast uh, subject. So, like for if you want to cover when a very limited time, I have mentioned that two books. So uh, that is uh, extension communication and management by C. L. Ray and dimension on agricultural extension. So these two books you can go through if you want to cover all the um, like. Uh, all the units. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Pusparani, ma'am, once again for giving your valuable time and guiding our aspirants. Now, uh, moving towards our next session, uh, I would like to call uh, uh, Pallavi, ma'am, Pallavi Koekar. Uh, she is specialized in uh, agricultural economics and currently pursuing her PhD uh, from Department of Agricultural Economics, VNKV Parvani. She has uh, cleared her net at, uh, in 2021 with 60% of marks. 
So over to you, Pallavi ma'am. Now you can start the session. Yeah. Am I audible, ma'am? Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Hello, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Screen is visible or not? Uh, ma'am, uh, your screen has started sharing, but uh, your PPT is not visible. I think there's some uh, issue with your network. You can again try sharing your screen. Is visible, ma'am. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. It is, yes, ma'am. It is visible now. You can start. You can kindly put it on uh, slideshow mode and you can start. Okay, okay. Uh, first of all, good evening, all of you. I am Pallavi Koekar. I am working as assistant professor in College of Agriculture at Paramati last eight years, and now I am doing PhD in. BNMKV for the last two years. Uh, today, I just uh, share my experience. So, before starting my uh, sharing experience, I would like to share exam pattern of NATE exam. So, in this ASRB NATE exam, the number, uh, number of paper is only one. Uh, more of exam that is online total marks that is 150 marks and total number of questions that is 150 number of questions then duration of exam is near about two hours that is 120 minutes and question type for this ASRB NATE exam that is multiple choice questions multiple choice question then uh, in case of uh, ASRB name, there is a negative marking system and one third mark will be deducted for each wrong answer. And a rounding of fractional marks is not allowed. Uh, this is, uh, I specially mention here because I cleared my NAID exam in uh, attempt. And a while in second attempt, while uh, I was attending this exam for second attempt, at that time, uh, my result was went uh, from 0 0.03 marks. So there is no rounding of fractional marks. So it is most important. Then uh, language for question paper it is bilingual language it is in Hindi or English. Then the standard level of this paper is master level. Okay, this is the uh, common ASRB made exam pattern. Then about uh, cutoff marks. So according to categories, there are uh, sorry to interrupt marks. you, ma'am. So for uh, ma'am, sorry to interrupt you, but Hello? your slides are not moving. Not visible. Uh, your slides are visible, ma'am, but you are stuck on the first slide itself. Kindly put it on uh, a slideshow mode, or you can move your slides manually. We are yet on the first okay. slide. No, it is visible. No, your slides are not visible, ma'am. They are not moving, actually. We are on the first slide. Uh, 
you try to uh, move the slides manually. Okay, okay. Now it is visible, ma'am? No, your screen is not visible, ma'am. Okay, I will explain as such. Yeah, you can explain. Uh, so cutoff for A's have been made. So according to different categories, the cutoff is different. So for unreserved category, uh, minimum qualifying mass are 75. And that is minimum qualifying percentage, that is 50%. For OBC category, minimum qualifying marks are 67.5. Uh, and uh, qualifying uh, cutoff percentage is 45. For SC, ST and the rank category, minimum qualifying mass are 60. And minimum qualifying percentage are 40. Then next, that is ASRB needs syllabus for agricultural economics. So for agricultural economics, there are six uh, units. So in first unit, that is, uh, uh, it is based on economic theory. So this first unit, it include economic theory, that is microeconomics and microeconomics. Uh, then second unit, it is related with agricultural development policy. Uh, so all growth models, and uh, developmental policies are included in this unit. Then third unit, that is natural resource and production economics. So it includes uh, production economics, farm management, and natural resource. Then unit number four, that is agricultural finance and product management. And uh, unit number five, that is agricultural marketing and analysis. And uh, unit six, that is operational research and research method. It is available in note, but uh, in short, I will explain all these uh, uh, units in short. So for uh, completion of this unit, that is unit number one, uh, economic theory. Uh, this book, Advanced Economic Theory by H.L. Aouda, it is most important because it covers most of the points, uh, micro and microeconomics. Then for uh, next, that is uh, Agricultural Economics by S.S. Sumedhi. Uh, yes, Baredi book. Then elementary economic theory by K. K. David. And for next so unit, that is farm production and farm management for that purpose, B. T. Raju is most important book. Then agricultural finance and management by Subbaredi and C. Ragura. And for operational research, basic econometrics is most important. So for that purpose, I use that. Uh, basic econometric book by Adam Gujarati and uh, one of the most important book for uh, short term preparation of this NEET exam that is Introduction to Social Science by Subhash Chandra. This is the one of the uh, short term study book. It covers all the topics related to economics. Then after studying or after clearing of this, all uh, uh, basic terminologies Last, that is uh, Objective Agricultural Economics by Nirmal Ravi. So these are the some important books which are uh, used during this uh, ASRB NATE exam. So all these... Sorry. So these are the different books and syllabus for ASRB NATE exam. Sorry for disturbance. So thank you all and all the best for all for your next NATE exam. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the presentation. And uh, yeah, we have few questions from the participants. So with your due permission, uh, shall I ask? Hi, yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. So, ma'am, uh, can you just uh, like uh, today we got the notification uh, and the 
uh, the uh, admission cards or admit cards are released by the AIS. Uh, yeah. So we have left with uh, like five to six days. So what are your uh, last minute tactics uh, which you want to recommend to the uh, to the people who are appearing for AIS AIS been at in agriculture economics? Uh, now only uh, four to five days are remaining. So in that period, you just focus on objective type of book that is. Uh, uh, objective of economics by Ravi Kumar. So it, uh, from that book, some of the uh, straightforward questions are asked uh, before that time. And okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your uh, precious time. Mm -hmm. And thank you for joining us. Okay, thank you. Uh, next, I would uh, like to call uh, Vishal Yadav, sir, for uh, for his talk about AISRB net. Thank you, ma'am. I am audible. Yeah, sir. Uh, yes, sir. You are audible. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, first of all, good evening to all of you. This is Vishal Yadav, uh, from PhD scholar from A and U T Morgan. There. Before uh, beginning, I would uh, like to. Uh, give a special thank to Just Agriculture team who giving me opportunity for sharing my experience. We will discuss our session in bilingual because uh, many students are facing in uh, a language problem. So uh, first of all, uh, we will discuss about what is a SRBnet. Uh, basically, a SRBnet is a bit of discuss karunga. और उसके एग्जाम पैटर्न के बारे में डिस्कस करूंगा क्योंकि अभी जस्ट एसआरवी ने जो भी कैंडिडेट थे उनके एडमिट कार्ड रिलीज किए हैं जो कि आपका जो साइकिल स्टार्ट है वो 26 तो 30 अप्रैल है और एक्सटेंशन के जो एस्पायरेंट हैं उनका 27 तो एग्जाम 4 टू 6 पीएम पे शेड्यूल है सो एसआरवी नेट स्पेशली जो एग्रीकल्चर साइंटिस्ट रिक्रूटमेंट बोर्ड है वो NET and SMS का combined exam conduct कर रहा है पहले NET and ARS का combined exam conduct कर रहा था जो number of questions इसमें होते हैं 150 questions होते हैं 150 marks के होते हैं there will be one by third uh, one uh, by third negative marking so uh, according to category uh, 50 percent for UR category and 45 uh, percent for qualifying marks OBC and EWS and SCST and uh, PWD 40 percent so uh, if you are going for uh, net then uh, you will aapko uh, skip kya hai ki apne category ke according hi aapko uh, minimum qualifying marks hi aapko lane agar aap sms ke liye ja rahe hain then aapko whole syllabus complete karna padega agar aap sirf net uh, ko target kiye hain to agar aap 50 ya uh, 60% syllabus bhi complete karke ja rahe hain then uh, definitely you will go matlab uh, aap crack kar jayenge net so, if we talk about the syllabus ka extension, the so whole uh, syllabus uh, of extension divided in 10 units. First unit, which is basically hai, wo fundamentals of extension and program planning, we divide it. So, the syllabus ke according to the uh, last uh, six days, so the book list, because students can follow the book, the uh, last six days, the maximum se maximum jo hai, वो रिवीजन करें जो ऑलरेडी उन्होंने पहले से अपने नोट्स बना रखे या किसी भी जो जिस बुक को भी उन्होंने प्रिफर किया उसको एंड मैक्सिमम से मैक्सिमम उस पर सॉल्व करें जो कि उससे क्या है कि उनका कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्ड होगा तो अगर हम लोग बात करें पहले भी तो अगर कोई बिगिनर स्टार्ट करना चाह रहा है तो बेसिक बुक आती है एक्सटेंशन कम्युनिकेशन एंड मैनेजमेंट बाय जीएल रे जो कि बेसिकली फर्स्ट यूनिट को बहुत अच्छे से कवर करती है कि आपको एक्सटेंशन की बेसिक नॉलेज जो आती है वो इसी बुक से आती है जो कि बुक एक्सटेंशन कम्युनिकेशन एंड मैनेजमेंट बाय जीएल रे है देन आप सेकंड uh, अब जा सकते हैं डायमेंशंस ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एक्सटेंशन बाय ए के सिंह ये बुक आपको वास्ट नॉलेज दे दी एक्सटेंशन का बेसिक नॉलेज एंड एक बुक और आती है ओपी धामान भटनागर की एक्सटेंशन कम्युनिकेशन करके वो बुक है वो भी आपको एक्सटेंशन के बारे में जो बेसिक नॉलेज है वो आपका कवर करती है then अगर इसमें इसी यूनिट में आपका कि जो प्रोग्राम आते हैं चाहे वो कम्युनिटी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम पॉवर्टी एलिवेशन प्रोग्राम आते हैं वुमेन डेवलपमेंट से रिलेटेड प्रोग्राम आते हैं एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन रिलेटेड प्रोग्राम आते हैं देन अर्ली एक्सटेंशन एफर्ट में जैसे प्री इंडिपेंडेंस इरा था पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस इरा था देन नेशनल कम्युनिटी डेवलपमेंट इरा 
तो इस बुक के लिए क्या है कि आपको एक बुक आती है ए टेस्ट बुक ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट बाय जी एल सागर मंडल इस बुक से आपका जो भी रूरल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम है चाहे वो प्री इंडिपेंडेंस पोस्ट एंड कम्युनिटी है सब कवर हो जाएंगे तो इस बुक को आप फॉलो कर सकते हैं या आप अगर सूची को बुक को फॉलो कराएं तो उसमें भी प्रोग्राम को अच्छे से दिया है आप उसको कवर कर सकते हैं नेक्स्ट अगर यूनिट देखा जाए तो हमारा एक्सटेंशन मैथड्स एंड फॉर्म जर्नलिज्म ये टॉपिक है जिसमें से नेट में अभी लास्ट ईयर भी थ्री टू फोर क्वेश्चन पुटअप किए गए थे तो मे बी एक्सपेक्टेशन है दिस ईयर भी आपको फोर टू फाइव क्वेश्चन जो है वो फॉर्म जर्नलिज्म एंड एक्सटेंशन मैथड से आपको देखने को मिलेंगे तो जो मैथड्स होता है एक्सटेंशन का जो मैथड वाला पोस्ट होता है वो बेसिकली आपका जेल से कवर हो जाता है या सुरुचि से कवर हो जाता है जर्नलिज्म के लिए क्या बेसिकली आपकी एक बुक आती है स्पेशली जर्नलिज्म की वो जी एल एन सागर सागर मॉडल की बुक है अगर आप बट प्रेजेंट टाइम पर अभी आपके पास इतना समय नहीं बचा है कि आप इस बुक को फॉलो कर सकें तो ऑब्जेक्टिव बुक है के पुनु स्वामी स्वामी की क्वेश्चन बैंक इन एक्सटेंशन एजुकेशन उसमें टू फिफ्टी टू थ्री हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन जो है फॉर्म जनरल दिए हैं उसको आप कवर कर लीजिए एन सूची की ब्रीफ बुक ऑन एक्सटेंशन एजुकेशन उसमें भी फॉर्म जनरल का पोर्सन दिया आप उसको कवर कर लीजिए नेक्स्ट अगर हम इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी वाला पोर्सन देखें आईसीटी वाला पोर्सन तो उसके लिए बहुत अच्छी बुक आती है टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल एक्सटेंशन विद ग्लोबल इनोवेशन बाय सागर मंडल जितने भी आईसीटी के प्रोजेक्ट हैं आईसीटी सी कॉन्सेप्ट है बहुत अच्छे से इन्होंने इस बुक में कवर कर रखा है तो अगर आप बिगेनर हैं या नेक्स्ट ईयर के लिए भी प्रोशन कर रहे हैं तो ये बुक आपके लिए काफ़ी हेल्पफुल होगी नेक्स्ट आता है जैसे ट्रेनिंग एंड ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट तो ट्रेनिंग के लिए जो बुक आती है वो स्पेशली लेंटन अम्परी की बुक है बट आप उसको फॉलो नहीं कर पाएंगे तो एक नोट मैनुअल बनाया गया है वहाँ इंडिया राइस पर वो के विजया राघवन का मैनुअल है वो कुछ स्टूडेंट के पास अवेलेबल है और मेरे पास भी अवेलेबल अगर कुछ स्टूडेंट चाहते हैं तो मुझे जैसे कि टेलीग्राम चैनल है उसमें भी इनसे जुड़े हुए प्रेजेंट टाइम पे वन के स्टूडेंट हैं जो कि सिर्फ एस आर के लिए जुड़े हैं अपने लोगों से तो उनको ऑलरेडी मैंने मैनुअल प्रोवाइड कराया है या जो ट्रेनिंग का स्पेशल नोट्स भी है वो भी हम लोगों ने प्रोवाइड कराया है तो आप इस बुक से इस क्वेश्चन को कवर कर सकते हैं ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट के लिए वो हंसा हंसराज की बुक है वो कवर कर सकते हैं आप देन आपका आता है रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी इन एक्सटेंशन रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी में स्पेशली क्या है कि जो एक्सटेंशन का स्टूडेंट होता है थोड़ा सा ट्रेनिंग और रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी एंड मैनेजमेंट को वो अवॉइड करता है और एक्चुअली क्या है कि ये जो कोर्स होते हैं एक तो जो हमारा डिपार्टमेंट होता है टीचर भी इन जो पोर्सन है उनको कुछ तरीके से नहीं कवर कर सकता और कवर करता और स्टूडेंट का भी इंटरेस्ट इसमें कम रहता है तो अगर हम लोग देखें इस सेक्शन को अगर इस सेक्शन को अगर आपको कवर करना है तो एक बुक आती है फाउंडेशन ऑफ बिहेवियर रिसर्च करलेंजर की बुक है उसको अगर आप नहीं कवर करना चाहते हैं तो एक्सटेंशन मैथड इन सोशल रिसर्च मैथड इन सोशल साइंस ये बुक सागर मंडल एंड जी एल की बुक है आप इससे कवर कर सकते हैं रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी वाले कोर्स देन डिफ्यूजन एंड अडोप्शन ऑफ इनोवेशन जो कि ये भी एक इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है और यहाँ से फाइव टू सिक्स क्वेश्चन जो है वो डायरेक्टली एग्जाम में आपको देख सकते हैं इसमें क्या कि बेसिकली आपको अडोप्शन देखना है अडोप्शन के टाइप देखने हैं अडोप्शन के एलिमेंट देखने हैं डिफ्यूजन देखना है एंड एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ इनोवेशन अगर आप इतना देख ले रहे हैं ना तो जो भी क्वेश्चन आएंगे आप कवर कर लेंगे तो इस पोर्शन के लिए आपके लिए जी एल रे ए के सिंह एंड श्रुति दीज आर सुफिशियंट फॉर दिस सेक्शन आप अगर इन सेक्शन को इन बुक से कवर कर ले रहे हैं तो आपके जो क्वेश्चन आएंगे आप उनको कवर कर लेंगे इसके लिए स्पेशल बुक भी आती है इमरेट रोजर्स की बुक होती है वो डिविजन ऑफ इनोवेशन बट वो काफ़ी महंगी बुक भी है और उसको आप अब फाइव टू सिक्स डेज में कवर भी नहीं कर पाएंगे नेक्स्ट हमारा है कि मैनेजमेंट एक्सटेंशन एक्सटेंशन में जो मैनेजमेंट पोर्सन है उसको हम लोग कैसे कवर करें तो मैनेजमेंट के लिए आप श्रुति मैम की जो बुक है वो भी सुफिशियंट है फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड बुक एंड मैनेजमेंट की बुक आती हेम बिचरिच की वो बुक अगर आप बिगनर हैं और आप वन ईयर का टारगेट कर रहे हैं या सिक्स मंथ का टारगेट कर रहे हैं तो वो बुक आप पढ़ सकते हैं अदरवाइज श्रुति फर्स्ट वेलूम एंड सेकेंड वेलूम डेज आर सुफिशियंट एंड फॉर मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन यू शुड गो फॉर गो थ्रो सुनील बीजी एंड के पुनु स्वामी नेक्स्ट यूनिट एट इंटरप्रनोरशिप डेवलपमेंट इंटरप्रनोर फॉर इंटरप्रनोरशिप डेवलपमेंट यू शुड गो फॉर एस के मोहन से फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ इंटरप्रनोरशिप डेवलपमेंट विच वन रिटर्न बाई एस के मोहन से 
और इस बुक में जो है वो बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट जितने भी इंटरप्रन्योर सकते चाहे वो टर्म है टाइप ऑफ इंटरप्रन्योर है और इंटरप्राइज है वो बहुत अच्छे से कवर किया गया है तो आप इस बुक को एक बार कवर कर सकते हैं नेक्स्ट हमारा के एक मार्केट लेड एक्सटेंशन भी यूनिट है उसमें से भी लास्ट ईयर भी क्वेश्चन आए गए क्वेश्चन पूछे गए थे तो इसके लिए क्या है कि आप मैनेज मैनेज की जो साइट है वहाँ पे मार्केट लेड एक्सटेंशन का स्टडी मटेरियल पड़ा हुआ है वहाँ से डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं नेक्स्ट यूनिट क्या हमारी जेंडर सेंसिटाइजेशन एंड एम्पावरमेंट प्रजेंट टाइम पे जो एक्सटेंशन का नेट का जो पैटर्न है लास्ट ईयर भी यहाँ से सेवन टू एट क्वेश्चन पुटअप किए गए और मे बी एक्सपेक्टेशन है इस बार भी सेवन टू एट या टेन क्वेश्चन जो है वो जेंडर से पुटअप किए जाएंगे तो इसके लिए क्या है जेंडर के लिए आप जेंडर मन स्ट्रीमिंग का जो मैनुअल है मैनेज का उसको आप फॉलो करिए और अगर आपको एन डी आर आई पुनु स्वामी जी का अगर सर का अगर आपको मैनुअल अवेलेबल हो जा रहा है तो ये भी सुफिशियंट है या फिर पुनु स्वामी सर के बुक उसमें उन्होंने थ्री हंड्रेड प्लस क्वेश्चन जो है जो जेंडर से रिलेटेड उन्होंने ऐड कर रखा है नेक्स्ट श्रुति मैम की बुक है ब्रीफ बुक में उसमें भी जेंडर के पोर्सन को उन्होंने दिया है तो आप इससे कबूल कर सकते हैं तो जितने दस यूनिट हैं आपके लिए मैंने जो बेसिक बेसिक बुक थी वो मैंने डिस्कस कर दी देखिए क्या है कि आप तो मैक्सिमम ऐसी ऐसी बुक को फॉलो करिए जिससे कि आपका जो आपका सिलेबस है वो कवर हो जाए क्योंकि बहुत अगर आप मोटी बुक लेके जा रहे हैं तो ना ही आप बुक को कवर कर पाएंगे और उतना थोड़ा सा क्या है कि इंटरेस्ट नहीं रह जाता जब बहुत मोटी बुक इसलिए मेरा जो भी अभी फाइव टू सिक्स डेज बचा है इसमें क्या है कि आपने जो पहले से पढ़ रखा है उसको रिवाइज करते रहें और जो ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन है उनको सॉल्व करते रहें और एग्जाम हॉल में जो आपको क्या है कि प्रेशर को कैसे हैंडल करना है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि 150 में 90 100 परसेंट नहीं आएगा हर स्टूडेंट को आएगा जिसने सीरियस होके वन मंथ भी स्टडी किया है बस क्या है कि आपको नेगेटिव से अवॉइड करना है वन बाई थर्ड की नेगेटिव है जो कि ये नहीं कि आपको उसमें टॉप करना है अकॉर्डिंग टू योर कैटेगरी आपको एक क्वालिफाइंग मार्क्स लाने हैं जो कि आप इजीली ला सकते हैं इसलिए नेगेटिव आपको अवॉइड करना है उस हर क्वेश्चन को आपको बहुत केयरफुली आपको उसको रीड करना है उनको ऑप्शन को रीड करना है और ऑप्शन इलिमिनेट करने का भी आपको जो मेथड है वो आना चाहिए एक्चुअली क्या ऑप्शन इलिमिनेट आप तभी कर पाएंगे जब उसमें से एक दो ऑप्शन का आंसर आपको पता होगा या इससे रिलेटेड है वो पता होगा तब आप ऑप्शन को इलिमिनेट कर पाएंगे तो ये भी हेल्पफुल है और रही बात बुक लिस्ट की तो बहुत सी बुक लिस्टें अवेलेबल है बट जो भी स्टूडेंट यहाँ है वो पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट करके स्टूडेंट बैठा हुआ है तो स्टडी मटेरियल आपको खुद सेलेक्ट करना है आप अगर हर यूनिट की स्पेशल बुक को फॉलो करना थोड़ा सा डिफिकल्ट है आपके पी में जो आपको नोट्स बनवाए गए हैं उनको फॉलो आप कर सकते हैं या आपने जो शॉर्ट नोट्स बनाए उनको और स्पेशली मैं हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर हूँ कि अगर कोई भी स्टूडेंट है वो श्रुति मैम की इंस्टेंट एक्सटेंशन एजुकेशन ए ब्री बुक ऑन एक्सटेंशन एजुकेशन एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव बुक सुनील बीजी एंड के पुनु सॉन्ग इन अगर इतने भी वो इतना भी अगर वो कवर करके जा रहा है ना तो हंड्रेड परसेंट वो नेट को क्लियर करता है अभी लास्ट ईयर हम लोगों ने भी एक बुक इंट्रोड्यूस की मार्केट में जो कि एस्टल पब्लिकेशन से निकल के आई ग्लिम्स ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एक्सटेंशन अकॉर्डिंग टू जितने भी टेन यूनिट्स हैं उसके अकॉर्डिंग इसमें वन लाइन ऑफ क्वेश्चन कवर किए गए हैं और मार्केट में ये बुक काफ़ी अच्छा स्टूडेंट इसको रिस्पॉन्स भी मिल रहा है तो आगे आने वाले समय में हम लोग ऑब्जेक्टिव बुक को भी वर्क कर रहे हैं जो कि जल्दी मार्केट में लाएंगे अगर किसी स्टूडेंट का कोई क्यूरी है डाउट है तो वो कमेंट सेक्शन में हमें राइट डाउन कर सकता है क्योंकि अभी देखा मैम ने भी डिस्कस किया उन्होंने इंग्लिश में डिस्कस किया तो कुछ स्टूडेंट को प्रॉब्लम थी एक्चुअली तो इस वजह से मैंने हिंदी में डिस्कस किया अगर किसी का कोई डाउट है तो वो कमेंट सेक्शन बॉक्स में राइट डाउन कर सकता है अदरवाइज आपके पास जो फाइव या सिक्स डेज बचे हैं इसमें आप अपना रिवीजन कर लीजिए और आपने जितना भी पढ़ा है उसको उसी पे रोक के आप रिविजन करते रहिए क्योंकि तो आप अगर आप नया भी पढ़ेंगे ना तो जो आपने पहले से प्रिपेयर कर रखा है उसके लिए थोड़ा सा दिक्कत होगा वो भी आपका भूल जाएगा और थोड़ा सा डिस्कशन से बचिए क्योंकि तो डिस्कशन हो सकता है ऐसा कि कोई स्टूडेंट ज़्यादा पढ़ाओ वो टॉपिक आप ना पढ़ाऊँ पढ़े हों तो अगर आपको उस टॉपिक से आंसर नहीं आएंगे तो थोड़ा सा आप डीमोटिवेटेड होंगे फर्स्टेड होंगे तो जो भी आपका पढ़ा वो भी आपके माइंड से उतरने लगेगा आप प्रेशर में आने लगेगा इस वजह से डिस्कशन से बचिए सिक्स डेज जो बचे हैं तो क्योंकि ट्वेंटी सेवन को आपका एग्जाम शेड्यूल ही है तो ट्वेंटी सिक्स तक आप रिविजन रिविजन करते रहिए करते रहिए सो सेशन को मैम अगर किसी का कोई डाउट है 
तो आप उसको पुट अप कर सकती है अदरवाइज लोग सेकंड पॉइंट करते हैं क्योंकि अब बहुत ज्यादा बुक लिस्ट डिस्कस करने का कोई समय नहीं बचा सिक्स डेज एग्जाम का है स्टूडेंट अब उसको रिवाइज करते रहे जी सर थैंक यू सर आपने बहुत अच्छे से बताया है कि आपने यूनिट वाइज डिस्कस किया कि किस यूनिट के लिए कौन सी बुक रिकमेंडेड है और अभी इस टाइम पे क्या करना चाहिए या ज्यादा डिस्कशन में ना उलझे या ज्यादा नई बुक्स ना पकड़े ताकि आपने जो पढ़ा है आप उसी को अच्छे से पढ़ के आप अच्छे से एग्जाम दे सके साथ ही आपने ये भी बताया कि नेगेटिव नेगेटिव मार्क्स को कैसे एलिमिनेट करना है या जो रॉन्ग ऑप्शन है उनको कैसे एलिमिनेट करना है जी सर so thank you sir it was indeed a very wonderful session uh, the thing which participants want to ask like kuch log aise hain jo first time net de rahe hain like abhi msc mein hi hain lekin mm-hmm. just appear ho rahe hain net ke exam mein unko idea nahi hai ki kya pattern hota hai exam ka to unko aap bata sakte hain like pura theoretical rehta hai ya kuch matlab kuch uh, numerical portion bhi rehta hai ya kuch research methodology se kaise questions mm-hmm. aate hain okay actually jo pattern hai isme hum अभी मैंने लास्ट ईयर के थ्री ईयर के क्वेश्चन पेपर दिए और अपेयरिंग में मैं भी एक्सटेंशन में पेयर हुआ था और मैं अपेयरिंग में एक्सटेंशन क्लियर नेट क्लियर हूँ तो अगर आप अपेयरिंग में हैं आपने अपना जो पीजी का सिलेबस है अगर आप उसको थ्रोली कंप्लीट किए हैं तो आप पीजी करेंगे इसमें क्या है कि आप कॉन्सेप्टअल क्वेश्चन जैसे पर्सन जो टर्म होते हैं टर्म को कौन इंट्रोड्यूस किया फर्स्ट टाइम पे कौन दिया या अदर एक्सटेंशन के पूछे जाते हैं और जो पर्सन एसोसिएटेड है डिफरेंट टर्म से वो डायरेक्टली एग्जाम में पूछे जाते हैं कॉन्सेप्टअल क्वेश्चन तो आते हैं बट थर्टी जो क्वेश्चन है आपको डायरेक्टली डेट टर्म एंड फादर ये आपको मिलेंगे कॉन्सेप्ट तो आपको 30 क्वेश्चन मिलेंगे बट 30 टू तो 40 क्वेश्चन आपको रट के जाना है कि जैसे रट्टा बोलते हैं कि आपको टर्म रट के जाने कि कौन फर्स्ट टाइम तो इसको इंट्रोड्यूस अगर आप इतना रट के जा रहे हैं तो बीस हजार सब्जेक्ट आप थर्टी क्वेश्चन तो आपके हो जाएंगे और रही रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी में रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी में आपको क्या पढ़ के जाना टाइप ऑफ रिसर्च अच्छे से आप पढ़ के जाइए वेरिएबल अच्छे से पढ़ के जाइए टेस्ट पढ़ के जाइए जैसे पैरामेट्रिक नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट इसमें कौन से आते हैं इतना अगर आप पढ़ के जाने तो आप जिसमें मेथोलॉजी जो बेसिक क्वेश्चन आएंगे वो कर ले जाएंगे जी सर थैंक यू सर और सर एक और क्वेश्चन जैसे आपने सजेस्ट uh, सजेस्ट भी किया लोगों को कि वो अगर अगले साल के लिए प्रिपेयर करना चाहते हैं या नेक्स्ट जब भी नेट आएगा तो कितना टाइम में वो प्रिपेयर कर सकते हैं जो भी आपने बुक्स बताई है जो भी सिलेबस uh, है यूनिट्स हैं लाइक उनको सिक्स मंथ्स लगेंगे वन ईयर लगेगा कितना टाइम उनको डिवोट करना पड़ेगा सीरियस होके नेट के लिए देखिए अगर कोई भी स्टूडेंट सीरियस इंस्पायर्ड है तो वो अकॉर्डिंग टू हर स्टूडेंट की कैपेबिलिटी अलग है लेकिन अगर आप एक जनरल टाइम देखा जाए तो सिक्स मंथ सुफिशियंट है सिलेबस को कवर करने के लिए अगर वो डेडिकेटेड है सिक्स मंथ डेली फोर आवर अगर दे रहा है तो वो सिलेबस को कवर कर लेगा और अभी लास्ट थ्री ईयर से मैं ऑनलाइन चाहे ऐप के थ्रू या यूट्यूब के थ्रू भी जो भी एक्सटेंशन के स्टूडेंट हैं या सोशल साइंस जे के स्टूडेंट हैं वो मुझसे कनेक्टेड हैं और अभी इस इस समय भी 1.5 के स्टूडेंट जन टाइम पे हमारे टेलीग्राम चैनल और जो व्हाट्सएप जो अभी मैंने पेड क्लास भी थोड़ा बहुत चला उसमें भी 60 65 क्वेश्चन हैं और उनका भी रिजल्ट देखिए अभी पॉजिटिव भी आएगा तो उनको मैंने थ्री थ्री मंथ में जो सिलेबस था वो कवर किया था देखिए सिलेबस मैंने बेसिक बेसिक कवर किया था लेकिन जो बुक मैंने रिकमेंड की स्टूडेंट को खुद ही पढ़ना एक्चुअली क्या है मैम ये नेट का एग्जाम है और आ, टीचर आपको या कोई भी है वो आपको सिर्फ गाइड कर सकता है कि आपको ये स्टडी मटेरियल ये बुक को रिफर करता है खुद का स्टूडेंट का डेडिकेशन होता है और हर जो स्टूडेंट है उसकी कैपेबिलिटी एंड स्टडी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट होती है तो सिक्स मंथ अगर आप अगर डेडिकेटेड हैं तो सिक्स मंथ में आप सिलेबस को कवर कर लेंगे और जो मैंने बुक बुक रिकमेंड किए हैं उनको भी आप कवर कर लेंगे जी सर uh, सर जैसे कुछ स्टूडेंट्स uh, हो जैसे आपने कुछ बुक्स बताई सब्जेक्टिव भी ऑब्जेक्टिव भी तो जनरली क्या होता है कि नेट के पेपर में जो क्वेश्चंस होते हैं वो बहुत ही अच्छे से प्रिपेयर्ड होते हैं उनकी ऑप्शंस जो होती हैं बहुत टाइम ऐसा होता है कि हमें दो या तीन ऑप्शन सही लगती है तो आप क्या सजेस्ट करेंगे स्टूडेंट्स को कि इस सिचुएशन को वो कैसे अवॉइड करें लेकिन एक्चुअली क्या एक्सटेंशन में थोड़ा सा यही प्रॉब्लम है कि स्टूडेंट का जो नेट पास आउट रेशियो कि जो ऑप्शन ऑफ क्वेश्चन होता है उसके ऑप्शन जो होते हैं बहुत पास ही रखता है इसके लिए क्या है कि आपको एक्सटेंशन में डेट भी अगर आप हर डिफरेंट बुक से जाएंगी तो कुछ बुक में डेट अलग मैंशन है कुछ बुक में अलग मैंशन है तो क्योंकि सोशल साइंस का सब्जेक्ट माना जाता है इस वजह से और अब उसके लिए क्या है कि आपको थोड़ा सा खुद की कैपेसिटी डेवलपमेंट करनी पड़ेगी कि आपको जो डेट्स हैं वो आपको ऑथेंटिक साइड से भी जाके आपको चेक करने हैं प्लस हमारी हैंडबुक प्रजेंट टाइम पे आईसीआर ने रिलीज की हैंडबुक ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर तो अगर स्टूडेंट कोई अब स्टार्ट कर रहा है तो मैं सबसे पहले उसको सजेस्ट करूं
कि आप सिक्स मंथ अगर प्रोजेक्शन के लिए जा रहे हैं तो हैंडबुक ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एक्सटेंशन यू मस्ट रीड मतलब आप कुछ जरूर पढ़िए उसके बाद आप इंस्टेंट एक्सटेंशन एजुकेशन श्रुति मैन की बुक है उसमें मतलब टेन परसेंट इधर ही है लेकिन जो भी उन्होंने कॉन्सेप्ट दिया बहुत अच्छे से कंपाइल किया है उसके बाद उनकी ब्री बुक है एक्सटेंशन एजुकेशन जिसमें आपको मैनेजमेंट ट्रेनिंग जेंडर ये बहुत अच्छे से कवर कर रखा है ये आपका कवर हो जाएगा देन आप अभी मैंने बताया कि गिलम्स ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एक्सटेंशन जो कैस्टर पब्लिक लास्ट ईयर रिलीज हुई है जिसमें मेरे एडवाइजर और मैं अपने टाइम उसको कंपाइल किया वो भी मार्केट में अवेलेबल है और अकॉर्डिंग टू टेन यूनिट जितने भी है उसके अकॉर्डिंग से मैंने उसको कंपाइल किया वन लाइनर में उसके बाद ऑब्जेक्टिव के लिए आप सुनील बीजी की बुक एंड फूनू स्वामी की इसको आप प्रेफर कर सकते हैं अगर इतना आप प्रेफर करके जा रहे हैं तो आप आई एम तो आपका जो नेट है वो आप क्लियर कर Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you so much for answering all the question and this wonderful session. Uh, thank you for your precious thank time. You. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So with this, uh, we are moving to uh, towards the next segment of today's session. So our next guest uh, has joined. So next speaker is uh, Pushpa Rani, uh, ma'am. So ma'am, uh, are you there? I guess Pushpa Rani, ma'am, has already completed. okay okay so uh, sorry for the this uh, sorry for this and yes yeah, sir you can uh, so i now i would like to uh, invite uh, amandeep sir for his uh, talk about uh, net asrb examination on uh, agriculture extension okay thank you ma'am so shall i share my screen yes yeah, sir you can share your screen is it visible yes sir it's visible okay so first of all i would like to thank the team agriculture for inviting us uh, on this platform to share our views uh, a brief intro about me i am amandeep ranjan i did my uh, undergraduation from birsa agricultural university and did my masters from national dairy research institute karnal and currently i am pursuing phd in agricultural extension from iri i uh, completed my net uh, uh, in the 2021 session and ugc net in the december 2020 and june uh, cycle so coming to this exam that uh, which is asrb is conducting uh, the net and uh, this time uh, the asrb is conducting the net and sq exam combined so almost uh, it is coming regular but uh, in past few years we have seen that due to covid it, it was not coming but from, from now to it, it is coming regular and we have to keep in mind that to uh, for being qualified uh, for this uh, exam we need to complete our masters degree that is the eligibility for this exam uh, it, it is to be completed before uh, 30th of september 2023 uh there is uh, no upper age limit to uh, give this exam and uh, the lower age limit is 21 years so coming to the pattern of the exam what asrb is doing uh, uh, to conduct this exam it is overall a uh, uh, exam of 150 questions uh, which are which all are mcq types and 120 minutes are uh, given so to qualify this exam we need to secure uh, 50% marks for unreserved category and if we are belonging from uh, any other categories than unreserved that is obc ws stsc uh, 45% and 40% respectively we need to qualify this exam so some of us are giving this exam for the first time many of us are giving for the second time so we'll dis uh, discuss here how we can secure this exam how we can pass this exam in a one go or for those who are giving uh, for the second time we have to analyze the syllabus uh, there is a pre predefined syllabus given by the asrb and uh, from the previous year i have uh, gathered some information regarding uh, the topics uh, hello ma'am can you please uh, tell me whether my voice is coming 
it, yeah it, sir your audible yeah, no? and yeah your oh, audible okay, and your okay. screen is also visible okay okay thank you okay, oh, so thank you. i was uh, telling that we have to go through the syllabus which uh, is predefined by the srb and it is also available in the site so we have to analyze which section is having more weightage uh, to perform better in this exam so uh, focusing on some sections like ict okay like ict training and gender all these uh, sections are having more weightage throughout the year uh, since when the uh, asrb is organizing exams so like that we have to focus on the particular sections more to uh, gain more marks so if you talk about the syllabus there are total 10 units for the agricultural extension syllabus i will discuss uh, unit by unit uh, total 10 units we have to focus so first unit is fundamental of extension and communication uh, like others have also discussed uh, they are, they have also suggested the same books but one more book i, I would like to add that is uh, one book is uh, for, uh, currently i'm talking about for those who are in their uh, final year of msc or uh, for the first time they are having enough time uh, for preparing they can go through these books to build their concepts one more book in uh, all these books we can add adivi reddy uh, extension education by adivi reddy is one book we can uh, read through that to build our concept for this fundamental and communication part for communication this as sandhu book uh, the textbook on agricultural communication is best in fact uh, it is covering all other portions also but for communication part this book is uh, one of the best book available in the market the uh, second unit which is the extension method and farm uh, journalism uh, which is uh, uh, well covered in this book which is uh, by sagar mandal it is also available some points uh, are very well mentioned in this book so uh, to build concept we have to go through this uh, information icts uh, it is uh, mentioned in this uh, uh, sagar mandal's book uh, of agricultural extension with global innovation for training and human resource development there are many modules are also available in the managed websites and uh, icr websites also but uh, one book that is written by bs hansra sir uh, it is also a very good book to go through this topic for research methodology if we are not in hurry we can give time to this book that is foundation of uh, behavioral research uh, which is written by carlinger it is very uh, good book to develop uh, the core knowledge of the uh, research methodology in extension and uh, if you are not having that much time to read the, as this book is quite uh, monotonous and it will be quite boring for some of the readers so they can switch to one another book that is research method in social science by gl ray and sagar mandar it is uh, written very briefly and concisely uh, to grasp the uh, attention of the reader so like that uh, all this section can be completed uh, through these books and coming to program planning and evolution uh, uh, very much informative book by as sandhu has written all the steps all the uh, models are very much uh, briefly explained here for management uh, we need to refer the Uh, book written by Kunj and uh, all. Uh, this book is also very lengthy. We don't have to cover all the parts, but we have to stick to the syllabus. What is asked, what is being asked, like uh, in the previous sections, uh, I have marked that which portion is coming like that. So don't we don't have to read all the part of the books, but selective to secure good marks. and for entrepreneurship development sangram kc sir's book is there uh, all the theories uh, of the uh, entrepreneurship development uh, van hoff's classification all are very uh, well defined in this uh, so we can refer this for diffusion we we can go through the rogers book and for gender uh, uh, like in the previous slide i have shown that gender uh, from past 3 4 years is carrying more weight like 10 to 14 15 questions are coming each year from the gender and this book is uh, i think is not available online but it is uh, published by icr ndri okay written by punnu swami sir so it is available there only but uh, in some are providing the pdfs and all or we can get to uh, to our friends this is very good book to uh, make familiar ourselves from the gender side 
so this is a must read book for the gender uh now these uh, were for those who are having much uh, who, are, who are having much time uh, to focus like they are in the last semester or uh, have time to uh, prepare for the air asrb net but for us like uh, today only the uh, admit card came that we are having exam on 27 uh, so what can be the last minute preparations so for last minute preparations these books shruti 1 and shruti 2 can be said as the gita of uh, the extension so uh, we must go thoroughly and quickly as as much as possible to go through it and uh, uh, attempt the objective questions uh, given the punnu swami sir's book and sunil viji's book to uh, for the last minute and we can visit some websites for the current knowledge also sometimes uh, some questions come uh, which uh, we cannot say directly that it is uh, uh, not from our syllabus so to avoid that uh, type of situation we, we must visit some of the websites like commonwealth fo usid like that for some of the events like when uh, the latest event where was the event uh, organized uh, like recently in varanasi one event was organized so that questions can also come and we cannot complain that it is not from our syllabus so uh, to keep uh, us familiar from these type of questions uh we have to go through these websites and while reading also for us uh, who are preparing from last 2 uh, 3 months uh we must prepare our notes self handwritten notes handwritten notes which can be helpful to read now in these 4 uh, 5 days span of time so that we can get, uh, get a quick glance of what we have read in the previous last 3 4 months mind maps we can prepare and uh discussion should be there among our friends with the teachers and all with our seniors we must discuss that what were the uh, previous questions what can be the expected question so through this we can uh, learn and in extension what happens is a very much focus is given on the rote learning some questions are coming directly from the uh, uh, books from the line they will just uh, take the question and put it like in our time we read oft uh one program was there oft and we came across this word a thousand times but uh, none of us uh, bothered that what is the full form of this so it uh, it can be on form trials on form testing so uh, like that we have not bothered and i did mistake in the same only it, it was on form testing not on form trial and it is very common for us we are reading this uh, since when we are reading extension so uh, very Uh, we have to keep in mind the silly silly questions also small questions also the questions are not that much tough it is easy to moderate level so uh, we can uh, focus on that also and you know for the last moment uh, the management part ict part gender part uh, we must uh, give focus to uh, gain more uh, marks and lastly we have to focus on the exam uh, Uh, not only on the exam but to attempt the maximum number of question as uh, the total number of question is uh, 150 no one can say that uh, 100 plus is a secure zone or 110 plus is a secure zone it can't be uh, said before so we have to uh, we have to attempt as much as uh, question we can but with a precise answer sometimes we are confused between two options and uh, that whether this will be answered or this will be answered so a calculated guess can also be uh, taken to uh, mark that question so and we do, uh, also we don't have to give much time on one question as we have only 120 minutes uh, to solve 150 questions so these all can be keep in mind uh, that's it from my side and i wish all the best to the participants thank you thank you sir uh, thank you for this very precisely prepared presentation and i hope that uh, participants who are preparing for net in uh, ai for uh, this agriculture extension must have got the clarity like what they need to do and how they need to prepare so thank you sir thanks a lot so yeah a Thank few doubts are there like you have uh, you have said that uh, like th uh, this much marks this much marks uh, are allocated for this specific part and that much for that so um, 
like how much uh, how much time we should devote to the particular part like how you you have mentioned na ki 15 marks question will be there from the gender portion so uh, how will you suggest the um, participants to prepare uh from my point of view the sections which are having more weightage uh, we can devote more time like if are if we are having uh, like uh, for the last few days if we, if i am uh, if i'll talk about uh, like from from now we have like five days so we know that this much part is uh, having more weightage so i will tell that we can uh, attempt more number of mcqs more number of possible questions from that section which is having more weightage or uh, revise the concepts which are having more weightage and uh, sometimes we feel that we are not remembering this part not remembering this part so we'll avoid that part of confusion in the last which are having not uh, uh, not that much weightage so we can focus uh, through the uh, like attempting mcqs and the mind maps we are having yes sir uh, sir as uh, we know that in extension we need to cram some things like the dates or the other things so are there any tricks uh, which the participants can use to remember the things actually personally what i have done is uh, uh, the, the portion which is having dates i uh, have made uh, some uh, kind of short notes which are uh, dates are chrono- uh, chronologically arranged like uh, sometimes we forgot that whether it was 1988 or 1989 uh, we got confused so what i have done is i have made a chronologically arranged date sequence so that we can even if you are forgetting something we can refer to the previous one or the back one that oh this was uh, behind this or this was uh, Uh, uh ahead of this so we can keep uh, in mind like that yeah that's a very nice trick like uh, we can just remember that in examination also yeah so sir uh, what are uh, what, what are the other tactics which you have followed uh, personally for uh, clearing the net examination can you just share them because this one which you have mentioned is very uh, nice technique Uh, uh like uh, i said for the last uh, few minutes uh, we can go through the shruti uh, one and uh, the books we are following in shruti one and shruti part 2 that's are uh, that's uh, they are enough for the last um, moment preparations so from them also we are reading uh, several times but we are forgetting so what i am doing is i am preparing a short note from uh, that also means a uh, few lines questions like that so that i cannot forget uh, to three pages for per chapter means only that much space should be given that uh, okay two pages for this chapter two pages for this chapter and what i am forgetting i should write on that and while going to exam or before going to exam i can just revise quickly those so that uh, that points uh, will be in my mind like that yeah sir uh, one another question like what is the ratio like we have already we have we all have experience that when we appear in net examination there are a frequent ratio of uh, question which are easy and everyone can attempt them and some are moderate and some are difficult who are the who are the deciding questions in deciding in questions. the qualification of examination so what is the ratio can you uh, uh, if you uh, yes 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 this. actually yes. Uh, we can say it is uh, moderate uh, easy to moderate level question uh, from uh, 70 60 to 70% will be easy uh, the other 20% will be moderate and the rest 10% will be uh, hard so the 10% will be the deciding factor uh, from 150 almost uh, everyone can attempt uh, 100 and 100 plus so to secure above 120 130 we have to focus on that 10% part. part which is hard and which can be from the current part like i have suggested some the some of the websites uh, from which questions can come like uh, some recent uh, events or programs which is organized by the government or the schemes launched like that uh, can come from that part okay sir uh, sir uh, like you have mentioned all the syllabus but are there any other additional question like from stats from general agriculture uh, are there any questions from this uh, in net examination some participants who are appearing for the first time they just want to know these things 
for net as uh, it it is actually for our uh, core subject knowledge uh, to be tested for assistant professor and also uh, uh, in this part there is no additional questions from stats or general agriculture like that uh, when we are giving for the srf and all in that part uh, these questions related questions uh, is coming but for uh, this net uh, no additional questions from stats and uh, general agriculture is there thank you sir uh, we are done with the questions and uh, yeah thank you for the tactics which you have mentioned like what we can do how we can just uh, remember the things and uh, also uh, you have uh, described that it is only confined to the syllabus which is given so thank you and uh, thanks a lot sir thanks for this uh, wonderful session welcome Okay, so uh, with this, uh, we are done with the today's session and uh, I hope that uh, participants who are appearing for uh, net